Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your girl Katie, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, in today's video, I'm going to be doing another hairstyle ideas type of video, but this time I'm going to be doing it for like short slash medium hair because the last time I filmed a video where I said short hair, um, a lot of you guys were telling me I did not have short hair. So now I'm gonna classify it as short slash medium. Now, if you've been up to date, you might have realized that all I wear now are my extensions and that's kind of because I am in the process of growing out my hair. If you guys watched my last hairstyle video, I would say it was probably about here. So we're, we're getting there, we're growing, I've been taking hair vitamin pills, okay, I'm working on it. But for the days that I don't feel like wearing my extension, I don't like my hair down like this. You know, I liked it when it was like blunt, short, but now that it's at an awkward stage, I feel like I always have to style it somehow or it just does not look presentable. That is why I'm making this video. These are like my six like adorable go-to hairstyles for when I have this awkward length hair and I tried to switch them up a little bit from my past two videos. So if you guys want to find out my little six cute go-to hairstyles for this length hair, then stay tuned for video. Alright guys, so the first hairstyle, I just middle parted my hair and my hair is flat ironed, but I'm taking the iron and I'm kind of flipping the ends of my hair up, so I'm just curling the ends upward. It's super easy and it just adds a different look to the hair. I don't know, I think it's so cute, especially with the style that I'm doing and it's just better than, you know, straight flat hair, especially when your hair is at this length. I feel like the straight hair just does not do me well. <laughs> Anyways, so next thing I'll be doing is smoothing down my bangs just behind my ears and then just tucking them behind there. You can do this with the side part as well, but I just like the way the middle part looks. And then I'm taking um, texture spray to spray down the flyaways because I ran out of hairspray. Moving on, I'm going to be grabbing these adorable hair clips. These happen to be from Windsor, but I'm taking the smaller ones and I'm just putting two on one side, kind of where I clipped back my bangs. And I just love what it does to the look. It kind of dresses it up, makes it a little bit less boring, but yeah, here's look number one. guys moving on to style number two taking out the clips brushing out of my hair this look is by far one of my favorites I mean I do this so much but I am just parting my hair in a little side part kind of just where I would usually part and then brushing it out and I'm sectioning my bangs out so it's a little bit more than my bangs it's like right before my ear is but I'm just gonna take that hair twist it up in a little ball and just get it out of my way because I don't want that hair getting into what I'll be doing if that makes sense so bobby pinning that make sure it stays out of my face and then I'll just be taking my hair kind of where my eyebrow ends is where I parted it and just pulling it up in a little half up half down look um, smoothing it down with a teasing brush and brushing it back making sure I don't get any other pieces in there I don't know just making it as sleek or clean as I can and then taking a hair tie of course and tying it up not like directly on top of my head but kind of a little further back enough so you can see it but not so it's like a unicorn horn if that makes sense anyways taking the texture spray again and just smoothing any flyaways I want to make it clean and then I'm taking the ponytail hair and I'm flipping the ends towards my face as opposed to like the rest of the hair where it's flipped outwards I'm flipping the ponytail towards me and then I just like taking a little strand of my hair in the ponytail and wrapping it around the base just so it yeah, I don't know it cleans it up a little bit it adds a cute little flare to it and then Bobby putting that in place flipping my hair over and taking out the bangs and I'm flipping those towards my face as well so the top of my hair is flipped forward and the bottom is flipped out and there you go super cute all 
All right, now for the next style, this I am taking out everything I have done, brushing out all of my hair, and I am going to be curling it. So put that flyer on the side, grab your curling iron. This one is from Foxy Bay. I believe it's one of their smaller barrels, but I could not tell you the size off the top of my head. Just know that it's it's pretty small. All right, so I just sectioned my hair. I ended up doing three sections in total, but the bottom section, I'm just taking I don't, not like small chunks, but not super huge, just pretty good sized chunks. I think I did like four on each side total and just leaving it there for uh, maybe six, seven seconds and then holding the curl down in my hand just so it doesn't completely drop. But I kind of want them more to be like waves as opposed to like tight curls. Um, I think it just looks better on short hair. And so I'm repeating on the other side and then I'm doing the rest off camera and boom, here we are. It's a little bit too tight of curls, looks a little strange on me. So I will just be taking my fingers and wrestling through it, getting some volume in there and making them more like beach waves. I don't know, super cute. But this is the third hairstyle. Now that we have our curly hair, we are moving on to style number four. So I am taking out a smaller strand of bangs this time, but I'm doing it on both sides of my hair. So kind of that little section. And then I'll be taking about where my eyebrow arches. That's kind of where I'm parting it on this one. And parting my hair back, but I'm keeping the middle part that I have going because we are going to be doing little space buns. So taking a clear elastic and just tying back my hair in pigtails for starters which you know this would be a cute look on its own but it is not what we will be going for today anyways after I tie the hair away then I will be taking a little teasing brush and just lightly teasing the little ponytails just very lightly I don't want my hair to get like knotted but enough to add volume and just make it easier to make a bun with so I kind of just twist up the hair and wrap it around each other it looks like super funny but you just have to work with it i don't know bobby pin it in places pull it apart you know pin back anything that's sticking out but just play with it until it gets to where you want it to be pretty much <laughs> but i like the way like the looser buns look you could do tighter buns if you wanted to this is just the style i was going for so there you go Moving on to style number five, I'm taking out the little buns, being careful to unravel them and take out those clear elastics, kind of just brushing out my hair and shaking it out. But I will be taking those two strands that I had separated and keeping those out from the rest of my hair. So we're leaving those down again for this style. And I'm parting about the same area, kind of near the arch of my brow, except this time I am brushing out the middle part. We're putting it in one singular pony, folks. <laughs> so I'll be taking a elastic and just tying that section of my hair up, kind of like the same, you know, not like on top of my head, but not too far behind. And then taking out little hairs, doing what I need to do. Lastly, I will be taking that little strand from the ponytail and wrapping it around the base once again it just adds a nice little clean look of course i will be bobby pinning that in place as well and then to finish it off i'm just taking a little teasing brush and just giving my hair a little bit more volume and oomph but that's pretty much it there is style number five All right, we are on to the last style. This one is super easy because I'm just taking the bangs from the previous style and wrapping it around the base of my hair so I don't have to like completely redo the ponytail. But if you didn't do a style before this, then you would just put it all in one ponytail, take out strands of your hair, mess it up, and there you go. So I decided to add in a little extra style just because it's not like an actual style but it's a way that I wear my hair a lot um, and that my friends is bucket hats. So I have a collection of I think six bucket hats but five sorry they are my babies i wear them religiously and i just love the way they look <laughs> they go with so many outfits and i'm just in love i'm so obsessed you guys <laughs> so yeah here is the last 
in style. So guys, that is pretty much it for my hairstyle video of how to style your short slash medium slash awkward length hair in many cute ways that are adorable and super easy and super quick and I just love them. Um, so even though I don't wear my natural hair by itself a lot anymore, these really help when I do. <laughs> They're just like my go-to. Cute, add some spaz, some outfits, are not too boring and like I said, the bucket hats, you guys, invest in some bucket I mean, not even like invest, they're literally like $10, but get yourself a bucket hat and live your best life. Every day, at some point in the day, I wear a bucket hat. I don't know if it's just like going out to the post office, I'm wearing a bucket hat. They're just my obsession, and I honestly used to think I looked so bad in them, and then they kind of grew on me, and then now, whenever I don't want to do my hair, I just throw them on. So I decided to just include that in there as a little freebie. But I really hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe down below and don't forget to press the notification bell to get notified every time I upload and to become part of the notification squad. Hashtag girls gang. So that is all for today and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yo, 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 yo. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again.